Edinburgh's recent record away from home has been less than impressive. Just one Pro 12 win on the road in their last nine attempts and just one win in Wales in their last 15. Ospreys have made a very solid start, winning at Treviso and drawing away to Leinster. They went into this having won their previous nine Pro 12 games at the Liberty and with five lines returning to the foes. And right from the off, Ospreys were on the front foot. From a line-out in Edinburgh territory, they completely controlled the mall, rolling inexorably towards the Scots line, with alarm bells going in the visitors' defence. As Edinburgh concentrated on holding the mall out, the ball was eventually whipped wide and Canadian international winger Jeff Hassler, making his first start for Ospreys, dived over the line for the first try of the match. A brilliant start for Ospreys and when Dan Bigger landed the conversion, they were 7-0 up after four minutes. Bigger added two penalties to put Ospreys 13-10 ahead, then Harry Leonard replied with a penalty for the visitors on 32 to make it 13-3. Just before the break, Ospreys lost flanker Tom Smith to a serious-looking leg injury, but they gathered themselves to score a fine try in the left corner. Good approach work from the Welsh men, setting up the chance. And Richard Fussell passed to Eli Walker, who dived over for his first try of the season, and Ospreys second of the match. Although Bigger missed the conversion, Ospreys were in total control, 18-3 ahead. It was another Ospreys try early in the second half in what looked like a pre-rehearsed move. Alan Wynne-Jones soared high before feeding Hibbert on the short side and the hooker got over for his side's third try. Excellent work from the set play and although Bigger failed with the conversion, Ospreys were now 23-3 ahead. Away, Black. Last Doctor. season's top try scorer in the Pro 12, Tim Visser, opened his account for this season soon after that. He left the Ospreys' defence flat-footed with a good line break. The Scottish international winger doing what he does best. Leonard converted to bring Edinburgh back into it, although they still trail 23-10. Tempers frayed midway through the second half. Substitute Justin Tipuric upset some of the Edinburgh players with this overly robust tackle on Sean Kennedy. It led to a bout of pushing, shoving and possibly some name-calling as well. But when the dust had settled with the assistance of the TMO, the referee sent Tipuric to the bin for his involvement. Super. Watch for Alan Wynne-Jones' reaction please. when he realises who number yes. 20 is. Great. It's a tip tackle, it's a yellow Osprey's card. Osprey's down place. to 14. But that didn't prevent them from driving forward and notching the bonus point try. Once again, Hibbard was to the fore. You can see the influence this returning line brings to the party and he forced his way over the line for his second try of the match. Bigger converted for 30 points to 10. And almost immediately the Welsh side were over the line once again. This time a beautifully judged grubber kick from Fussell sat up perfectly for Walker to race onto and he dived over for his second try of the night. Ospreys were rampant, 37-10 up after Bigger slotted the conversion over. As Edinburgh pressed for a consolation score, substitute Matthew Morgan jinked clear from in front of his own posts and raced the length of the pitch to score one of the most sensational tries he'll ever have the pleasure of touching down. His fresh legs leaving the Edinburgh defenders clutching at thin air. The referee asked for the TMO's assistance to confirm that the grounding of the ball was good, but after a run like that it would have been cruel to disallow the try. It was deemed right, good, you, and Morgan went on to convert as well, leaving the score 44 points to 10. That's how it finished. Ospreys send out a warning about how good they can be. Edinburgh, the unfortunates to run into them on a day like this. Final score at the Liberty, Ospreys 44, Edinburgh 10.